I remember watching the first two episodes of this new season with a friend and saying, I'm calling it, this season is gonna be a gold leaf. Easy. If you don't know, that's this channel's equivalent of an 11 out of 10, but does that now hold true? Okay, so right off the bat, yeah, this shit ain't for kids. There's murder and blood and depression. It's all very adult. This makes sense. It's aimed at the kids who watched the original show when it was airing, i.e. the now 20-something adults like me. It's like the Logan of cartoon shows, and I don't really hold back with that statement. It takes a broken character to their absolute edge, and did I mention this was freaking Samurai Jack? The first two episodes are, in my opinion, the perfect tone setter for what's to come. Not only because of the darkness and the adult themes, but there's still a lot of that original goofiness in the face of it all. Yet, it doesn't mess with the tone? If anything, juxtaposing the original show's wacky nature against this hopeless tirade into mental illness and survivor's guilt makes both more effective in spite of each other and serves to show how far this show has come. Samurai Jack was always a beautiful show, but it's on this whole other level now. The phrase, every frame a painting, would absolutely fit the bill with no room left for exaggeration. But despite it all, it is true to the feel of the original show. The middle part of the season is chock full of callbacks and fan service that may lose some people who are only jumping in for season 5, but I don't think they should be completely put off. Although, there is a couple of episodes that tone-wise stray into Samurai Jack's traditional cheesy weird side, which will either delight old fans or irritate the new ones who fell for the grit and plot of this season's first half. However, this is as far as my criticisms can go. Okay, that's a lie. It does kind of end really rushed and it's very paint by numbers towards the end, which is disappointing considering how it started, but eh, well. Could have done with being two episodes longer. Probably not Gold Leaf, but I'm still gonna say it's awesome. It's the best Samurai Jack has ever been, so if you're a fan, definitely watch it. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please subscribe to this channel to keep up to my future reviews. Also, you can support me on Patreon if you want to help the channel. But for now, I will see you later.